Hi, I'd like to uh, welcome you to the Department of Chemistry at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. My name is John Wright and these are the uh, co-authors on our recent paper in the Journal of Physical Chemistry Letters. This is uh, Stephen Block and Lena Yours, and uh, they're going to help us understand the uh, material that uh, is in the recent paper. And uh, so now we're going to head upstairs and uh, take a look at the labs. Stephen is pointing to a series of lasers that together make extremely intense light pulses that are only picoseconds and even femtoseconds long. The optics on this table focus three different beams onto the sample at different angles and with different time delays. Lena, let's slow down the light pulses so that we can see them as they race along the table and are focused into the sample. Okay, I'll dim the lights. There they are. Notice that they arrive at different times and different angles. If we zoom in on the sample, we can see how an individual atom responds to the light pulses. What you see here is the electron cloud of an atom and an oscillating electric field of the short light pulse that is moving toward the atom. The pulse is exciting the electron cloud to a different quantum state by alternatingly attracting and repelling the electrons with its oscillating electric field. The quantum state's excitation causes the oscillations of the atom's charge level. And here comes the second field. Notice that its frequency is different, so it excites the atom to another quantum state. That's why these oscillations look different. Here comes the last light pulse. Its frequency is again different, and it excites the electron cloud to yet another quantum state. The electron cloud oscillations you see are themselves creating new electric fields that propagate away as new light pulses. These pulses are what we detect. Notice that our frequencies are resonant with the electron cloud oscillations and that they create large oscillations, just like continuing to push a child on a swing. If the frequency were not resonant, the electron cloud oscillations would be very weak and so would the light field they create. In addition, when the pulses are gone, the atom's oscillations die away. In the experiments that you just saw, we were measuring the intensity of the light that was created by these oscillating polarizations in the atom. The experiments that I'm showing here show how the intensity of these light pulses coming out are going to change as a function of the frequency of the excitations coming in. So the X and the Y axes label the frequencies of the light pulses coming in. And when these frequencies are the same for both different excitations, then we see large enhancements of the intensity coming from the oscillating polarizations. So this and this represent where we're exciting the same quantum states. But these peaks are associated with exciting one quantum state with this laser and the other quantum state with that laser. We only see those peaks if the excitation of one of these quantum states affects the other quantum state. If it doesn't, these peaks are not present. In addition, we can sit with our frequencies at these particular positions and measure how much the intensity changes as we change the time delays between the pulses. And this maps out the dynamics of these quantum states. The uh, article that uh, we have in uh, the Journal of Physical Chemistry Letters describes how these particular effects can be applied to materials, in particular nanomaterials, the kinds of things that we hope will be important in our energy future. In particular, the quantum states are now going to be associated with electrons moving through the material. And as it moves through the material, it'll experience different electric fields and it'll interact with different electrons. And that's going to change the kinds of uh, spectra that you see as a result of uh, probing these materials. So we invite you to look at our article in the Journal of Physical Chemistry Letters and uh, thank you for your, uh, your interest.